morning and welcome to the August 2023 launch of the SBC Way. My name is James Busey. I am one of the Quality Improvement Officers and I am delighted to be hosting this online recorded version of our August 23 launch of the SBC Way. As an overview, the SBC Way is an umbrella term for a new innovative approach to achieving excellent educational outcomes for every child and young person across all Scottish borders, schools and settings. We are aspirational for our children and young people. We want the very best for every child and young person in every school. And we need to have the systems, the strategy, and the operational workings to enable this. And the SBC way as an umbrella term is to encompass all of the bits of the machine that we need to work smoothly to achieve those outcomes. There are five drivers for the SBC way. Clarity. We need clarity of message, clarity of process, clarity of direction. Consistency, consistency of how we do things, consistency of what it looks like in clusters, in schools. Collaboration across the piece, collaboration with other departments, collaboration across clusters, collaboration within clusters. Challenge, we need to be setting the highest expectations for ourselves, for our schools, for our learners. And creativity. We need to be innovative. We need to be setting the bar for what excellent looks like in terms of educational outcomes. And the SBC way is going to be delivered very much as part of the Inspire Learning programme. Online and digital is the way that we will be working as an authority. At the moment, we are leading nationally in terms of digital, um, the digital, digital offer. But we want to start leading internationally as we embark and uh, continue to expand what our Inspire Learning programme can deliver. And the vehicle for the SBC way, whilst Inspire Learning provides the online forum, the team around the cluster, which is a term that is being used a lot now, is how we will deliver the SBC way because it's at cluster level. Uh, in the communities that you work in, that you serve, that we will see the change. So the SBC way is an umbrella term is everything that we want to see happening across all of our schools, across our nine clusters. But the team around the cluster is then how those messages, those expectations will have become a reality. So that's the SBC way as an umbrella term. And to support that, uh, today we're launching the SBC way Launchpad, which is an online portal where everything to support the delivery of our SBC messages, SBC way messages, expectations, outcomes. One place, a one stop shop where every teacher, practitioner, member of staff can uh, with one click find the information that they need. I'll share more about this in a moment because the main part of this presentation is to talk about and share uh, the breakthrough curriculum because today we're very excited to be launching our SBC 2 to 18 breakthrough curriculum so we'll explore that shortly the breakthrough curriculum is set in the context of our national curriculum curriculum for excellence which uh, has its experiences and outcomes, it's split into its levels, and it has as its ultimate outcome the four capacities. And it is delivered through the what's called the totality of the curriculum, which are the four parts, opportunities for personal achievement, interdisciplinary learning, ethos and life of the school, and the curriculum subjects. And our ultimate vision for the SBC way curriculum, breakthrough curriculum, is that these four contexts we are able to really push and develop those. But for now, we're getting these subject areas right, and I'll come to that in a moment. 
we have a universal challenge, which is the gap, the achievement gap. And it's a harsh and sad reality that still in this modern te technological age, we still have too many children, young people who, because of barriers faced, whether it be poverty, whether it be learning, whatever, whether it be emotional, there is a gap between the children who have and the children who have not. And we have a moral imperative to do something about it. And an excellent breakthrough curriculum is part of the answer. So we have developed what's called a breakthrough curriculum. It is designed based on the work, the theory of um, Professor Michael Fullan, internationally renowned, re renowned educator uh, and colleagues. And he proposes what's called a breakthrough curriculum, which is absolutely anchored in moral purpose. And our moral purpose within SPC Way is that every single child and young person should have access to the very best, highest quality curriculum that we can offer. And it shouldn't matter which school they go to, what their postcode is, every child and young person should have access to the very best curriculum. And we can do that. But the breakthrough, breakthrough curriculum is more than that. And it has these three uh, parts that wrap around it. So the idea of a precise curriculum whereby the steps of learning, the way we teach it, the way we assess it, it's all very clearly and precisely mapped out, but it's not prescribed. So we're not saying on Monday at two o'clock teach this. What we are saying is that for primary fives, they need to learn this and this is the best way to help them learn. We have a curriculum that is personalized, which means that you as teachers can take our curriculum and you can make it work for your class, for your cohort, at this moment in time. And it's founded in professional learning. So we are absolutely committed to, to, committed to supporting you as teachers, as practitioners, to be the best that you can be in the moment, to be the subject expert that you need to be. So we're going to be investing heavily in professional learning. That is what a breakthrough curriculum aims to do. So we based on the idea of the SBC way with our five drivers of clarity, consistency, collaboration, challenge and creativity, we are starting our SBC breakthrough curriculum by looking at literacy and numeracy. We are going to be enhancing our current offer of health and well-being, and then very soon we'll be adding other subject areas. So I wanted to dive into and explore what we mean by the literacy and the numeracy curriculum that we want to offer. What is really important to know is that this is not something that's been written uh, by one person sitting in an office. This is very much a collaborative effort. And over the course of last school session, there were a number of your colleagues, of your peers who are sitting listening to this video, this presentation, who were part of the answer. And I wanted to say a huge thanks right now to their time, their effort, their thoughts, their energies as we wrestled very genuinely wrestled with what is the best way to do this um, and it, it, we came out with what we believe now is a very solid answer. It's also important to know that what we are sharing today is we are sharing the plan and we are asking for your engagement this year. We are not asking that you enact this yet and there's a difference. So this year is the year of engagement. We're launching it. We're going to work with you. We're going to hear your thoughts. We're going to ask for your feedback, your interactions, your thinking, so that in August 2024, schools are ready to enact it. So please, please remember that this is not to be enacted today. It is to be engaged with today and this session. I also want to make it very clear that what we're proposing is so much more than just a progression pathway. Progression pathway is ultimately just a piece of paper that says teach this in primary one, teach this in primary two, teach this in S2, teach this in S3. But we are offering so much more than a pathway. We have very clear principles that underpin the SBC way. So yes, we've got the principles of the SBC way as an umbrella approach, but we are aiming for breakthrough and we are absolutely committed to that. And I've explained that. And our curriculum is harnessing the wisdom of others. That is also something that Michael Fullan advocates. We do not have time to reinvent the wheel. There is amazing work that is being done that has been done internationally, nationally and locally. 
So our SBC Way curriculum does exactly that. We have taken ideas from as far afield as Australia, Singapore and America to more locally to the Northern Alliance uh, Regional Improvement Collaborative to even more locally ideas from our own schools. But we brought that together to put to what we believe is a really strong curriculum offer. I've already mentioned how important it is that closing the gap underpins what we're doing. Everything about the pedagogy is built on best evidence, cognitive science and the learnings from that are threaded throughout the pedagogy and our curriculum design. And that will come up more and more over the year, which links very much to the art and science of teaching. We know now how best to teach things and we're advocating that in our curriculum offer. And the SBC Way curriculum, our breakthrough curriculum, is what's called a curriculum of parts. Um, and I'll come to that in a moment. Now, when I said there about the, the art and science of teaching, we already have the SBC Learns framework. This was launched uh, just before COVID in 2020. And we're very excited, we're very proud of this. And what we set out a couple of years ago is the principles that we should see in every classroom of how we teach. Our curriculum offer is what to teach. The framework is here says how to teach it. Now, I'm not here today to go into that in detail, but I will towards the end of this presentation just signpost you to where you can find more information about this. So our breakthrough curriculum is a curriculum of parts, and this is built on the works and the idea of Professor Mark Priestley from Stirling University and others. And he proposes that curriculum isn't just about the content. It's not just the, the stuff that, that students learn. It's much more than that. It is the stuff. It's the content. But it's also the how, it's the pedagogy, it's the assessment, how do you know how they're getting on? And it's the structure, the logistical operational delivery of that content. So we've taken that idea and developed a curriculum that is made up of four parts. We've got the methodologies, the pedagogy for each curricular area, the steps to success, so the content, that's the pathway. We've got common assessments to support teacher professional judgment. That's really key. We are not saying do all of these tests, administer them. What we're saying is use these assessments to support your judgment so that you be can become increasingly confident in the judgments that you're making. And the fourth and final part is the recommended structures, how we deliver this in a lesson, what it looks like over a week, what it looks like over a term, over a year, over three years, over a, a pupil's experience in school. And understanding the best way to deliver that is really important. Before we just uh, move into the, the launching, the, the, the or for me sharing the online launch pad and the portal, uh, this idea of the pedagogy that underpins our curriculum. If we were to take numeracy and mathematics, for example, it is a complex subject and success in numeracy and mathematics requires multiple components. So we are delivering a curriculum and have designed a curriculum that uh, delivers these different components. And we need to support you as teachers and practitioners to understand these, to know how best to put them into practice. And it's the same with literacy and English. Now, we are advocating what's called oracy. It means listening and talking, but it's uh, oracy, which is the, uh, the phrase that is um, best understood now, best describes what we're trying to deliver. But oracy is best understood in terms of these four components. We'll explore more of that later. Writing, we advocate the simple view of writing. And for reading, we advocate the simple view of reading or the five pillars of reading or Scarborough's rope. But literacy is best taught holistically. So, yes, we have these three separate parts, but literacy is best taught, best experienced as a learner in a joined up, connected uh, way. And we'll explore that through our curriculum. So that's enough of the, the theory, the thinking, but I hope that makes clear, um, very clear to you the rationale for what we're trying to achieve. And what I'm going to do now is for the next uh, five or so minutes, I'm going to take you through the online portal. Uh, at the end of the presentation, you will see a QR code, but that is now available in every staff room. So every teacher and practitioner has access to this online portal. And as soon as possible, we will be putting it as an icon on all iPads so that at one click of a button, you can access all the information you need. 
OK, I'm just going to swap slides and share with you now uh, this screen. OK, so the online portal. Uh, it is a one stop shop for everything to do with the SBC way. Before I dive into the breakthrough curriculum bit, I'll just share very briefly the components of this portal. So the way that works is anything that has this kind of pulsing icon, you can click on and find more information. So if you want to just a reminder of what do we mean by the SBC way, here click on the, the, the pulsing icon, and here you've got a reminder of the five drivers of the SBC way. If you want to find out more about the SBC Early Level Portal, which is a fantastic resource, huge resource, now uh, had national acclaim, um, click on the icon, and then we've got a little bit of an explanation for it. Click go to the portal, and it takes you directly to everything that you need as an early level practitioner to deliver our SBC way for early level. Click the cross button, click the cross button, and back to the portal. Coming very soon will be the one stop shop for everything Inspire. Down the bottom here, we've got our Educating Borders podcast. If you haven't connected with that, please do. Uh, we're very excited about this. We are the first local authority in Scotland to have our very own podcast, sharing news, promoting professional learning, putting a spotlight on good, good practice across our schools with guest speakers each session. All you've got to do is click listen to the podcast. You can listen to it on your um, iPad or you can listen to it on your phone or whatever device you choose. We've also got here access to Scottish Borders Council employee network. This is um, a one stop place that they've created. It's the employee hub and you can click on that to get news about all things that are happening wider across the authority. These five key parts are important. So we've got our quality improvement framework here. This is all things to do with school improvement, school inspections, etc. A one stop shop there. Everything here to do with the SBC Learns. Um, if you can click on the link, it takes you to a Padlet. This has got a Padlet for uh, all information about the learning and teaching assessment policy, the framework, and all the professional learning. There is a huge suite of professional learning available to you as an individual or to you as a school to help you understand every component of our SBC Learns framework. So I strongly, strongly advocate and encourage you to look at this. We've also got a, a very exciting new ebook loan library. Uh, five books available at the moment that you can be sent will be sent to your iPad uh, from our top authors around the best practice in teaching and learning. So please take a moment to explore that further. And we've got that for each of our uh, five parts. We've got the inclusion framework. We've got our brand new launched professional learning blog. All information available to you to explore and find out what is available for you as a professional um, so that you can uh, book courses, etc. Find out more about what's coming up and encourage you to, uh, to play with that more. OK, so that's the SBC way stuff. That front page may change as over time as more content it as it, but the link will always be the same. So use this if you need to find out something, explore. If it's not here, get in touch. We need to add it. But here, let's explore the breakthrough curriculum. So I'm going to click on the breakthrough curriculum and it takes us to, for now, what is the main content? So as I said, we've got literacy, numeracy, health and well-being. If I want to explore the SBC Way breakthrough curriculum, click on the pulse, click on the blue link, and it takes me to an overview of all the information that I very briefly narrated, but now I an explanation of breakthrough, harnessing wisdom, closing the gap, what's the best evidence, significant information there around cognitive science and all of the lessons from there, an overview of the learning and teaching, etc. So you can use this as a school leader, as a principal teacher, as a deputy, or as a class teacher, just to find out more and make sure that you're comfortable with the uh, principles that underpin what we're doing here. But if you want to actually say, right, interesting about the theory, I want to get into teaching it, well, we can explore literacy. So we'll do literacy first. So within literacy, we've got the four buttons because remember literacy is a holistic approach. So what do we mean by literacy? We click on the link and we take the four parts, the four part model, the method, the pathway, the steps to success, the assessments and the structural support. So here's an overview of literacy. We've got the lessons here and what we mean by a literacy rich, a holistic and all the information you need is available here. 
But if you want to explore more specifically, Oracy. So Oracy, listening and talking, I can click on here and I now go to our curriculum for Oracy. We've got the pedagogy. What do we, how do we teach Oracy? What is meant by Oracy? And then we've got the steps to success here, the pathway. We've got the early level directly taken from the amazing work of our early years team. And then we've got the steps to success here from th first right the way through to third, fourth level. Any document that comes up like this, we can download and you can use personally. This is a, a, obviously a master copy, but you can click and download it here. Three buttons, click and download attachment, and you can do that as many times as you need to. Um, so we've got that here. I'm just going to close that button. Uh, we've got the assessment. We've got the recommended structures and some additional reading to support your understanding. Everything you need there for Oracy. We've got the same for reading. What about reading the SPC way? So we go, we click, we've got the same structure. So we've got the methodology. Remember, reading is complex, there's a lot there. So we've got every single part of reading is explored here with suggestions of how best to teach it. We've got the steps to success, early level, and then right the way through to third, fourth level. And we've got how best to assess it. And we've got coming soon the recommended structures. And then finally, within the literacy program, we've got our um, writing framework. So if I click on writing again, we can go here and we've got the four parts methodology, including every part of what makes for successful teaching and learning and writing, the steps of success, assessments that will be built on and added to and recommended delivery structure. So everything you need to deliver a, a positive powerful breakthrough literacy curriculum is available in this one place. Now, if I click this home button at any point, it takes me back to the Launchpad home screen. I'm going to click back on breakthrough curriculum. I want to explore the numeracy network, uh, framework. So we've got here the three elements. Uh, you can see the STEM support that is not live at the moment. It's uh, going to be added to and coming, coming later. We've got two main parts. So if we click on the maths framework, Click on the link and much like with the literacy, we've got the four parts to it. All the components that makes up successful teaching and learning in numeracy and maths. The steps of success, I'll explore that in a bit in a moment. How to assess and how to deliver it on a structural basis. The progression, the steps to success within maths and numeracy, we need to say a huge thanks to the Northern Alliance, which is made up of uh, Highlands and Aberdeen City, Aberdeen Shire Council, uh, etc. Uh, done a huge power of work in creating a progression and we have, uh, with their permission, we are using that as the basis for our work. It completely aligns with the principles that we have identified as uh, needed for effective learning and teaching. So what we've created here is a progression portal for numeracy because it's so complex. The full document, if you were to look at it, is about 160 pages. So we've created this here for you to navigate it. So if you are teaching fractions, decimals, uh, decimal fractions and percentages, you can see the colour coding here. Orange is early, first level, second level, third, fourth level. So let's say your first level. So you click on first level and it opens up the document page directly and specifically for you to teach fractions, decimal fractions and decimals at first level. And it's worked from left to right to beginning of first level through to the end of first level with the benchmarks there. If you want to download those two pages out of the 160 pages, you click on the dot, 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 and you click download attachment. You can then highlight, you can annotate, do what you want, put it in your OneDrive folder, use your iPad as markup. You can add voice notes to it. It becomes your document. Do with it what you want. Make it a live, active, usable document for you. But the master will always sit here. So maybe I'm doing third, fourth level data and analysis. I click on the green button for third, fourth level, and it brings up the pages from the master document that are appropriate for me. So you've got two documents here. You've got third level, fourth level. What does progression look like working towards the benchmarks? I can download it with the three dots and use a document as much as I want, as I see fit. If I want to explore calculations, click on there. We've got addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. I'll go back. And if I want to explore further and wider maths, again, every component from the um, Education Scotland National Numeracy and Mathematics Progression Framework is linked to here. Uh, and again, which then all directly links to the Northern Alliance work. So that's 
the um, numeracy and maths curriculum offer. And finally, for now, uh, at, we do have a health and wellbeing framework. It is to be updated. So this is not live yet. There's a lot of work that's sitting in the background. We need to update and refresh the links, but keep an eye on that. But you will be notified when that is made live. Um, but we will be adding content to this here. So that is the SBC Way launch pad. Every teacher practitioner has access to that. There's a QR code in every staff room. If you haven't got one, please go and see your head teacher and it will be put out on iPads as a um, uh, as an icon, uh, as a direct link on your iPads. We're very nearly the end of this presentation. Thank you for bearing with me. Uh, I'm just going to finish with a few uh, final points and some offers of professional learning to support what we are doing here. Um, and so just to, to finish up today, um, what I wanted to share with you, let me just make sure that it's working. Uh, so we've shared the portal. Reminder, reminder, we are not asking you to enact this today. We are asking you to begin to engage with it. This over the course of this year, that's particularly at primary level. Secondary, it's still engagement, but your engagement will look a little bit different. At primary level, our plan for engagement is what we're calling alignment sprints. Michael Fullen says, it's better to be right in the end than at the beginning. So whilst we are confident that our curriculum that we are launching today is really solid, we want to work with you to make sure that it's absolutely perfect. So we're going to be working with you over this year on what we're calling alignment sprints. We're going to do four sprints over the year and we're going to start looking at the Oracy curriculum together and your head teachers will lead you through that in a cat session. We'll get, you'll get time to play with it, to pick with it, pick it apart, look at it and see how it works and then to feedback. And for each of these, for the Oracy and then for reading and then for writing and then for numeracy over the year, you're going to be asked these three questions. What are you already doing? that aligns with what the new curriculum says? What are you not doing that the new curriculum says you should be? And therefore, what input do you as a school need to help close that gap? And then with those answers, the curriculum team can put together an offer so that for August 24, schools are ready to put this new curriculum into action. So we come to the end of this breakthrough curriculum session. Don't forget, there is always professional learning on offer for you for all things curriculum, learning, teaching, inclusion, uh, school improvement. And you can go to the professional learning blog to find that. Three particular things to look for. Um, the curriculum sem seminars, you can make contact with the professional learning team through the email here to request support. We can deliver twilight, we can deliver inset days. We are here available to support you with this new curriculum. We have two guest speaker events coming up. Please put them in your diary. Friday, the 22nd of September, our very own Bruce Robertson, who is director of uh, Berkshire High School, but also internationally renowned author, uh, is speaking to us on Friday, the 22nd of September, two o'clock. Please, please book a place in that. And then in October, we have also internationally renowned author Emma Turner speaking about Simplicitous, the interconnected primary curriculum. This is particularly for primary, but I would encourage BGE, particularly sec, uh, support for learning teachers, to engage with this. And the third offer is to explore the online suite of professional learning materials that have been created. They're hosted on Schoolhouse, but you can find them all through the portal and look for the SBC Learns link and go to the Padlet and find everything you need there. So that should bring us to the end of our presentation today. This is the QR code that you can use to access the portal. But as I said, that should now be available um, in all staff rooms. Thank you for listening. I hope you found this helpful uh, and this video will be available on the portal as a reference point for anybody who needs it.